everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to talk about professional baseball outside of North America. Uh, so we're all familiar with MLB, Major League Baseball. Predominantly in the United States, there's one team in Canada. And obviously there's the farm system underneath MLB where the prospects and the players who aren't good enough uh, to play in the big leagues play. But I wanted to take a look at the leagues outside of North America and I singled out a few of them that I would like to discuss in this video and we are going to start with the Nippon Professional Baseball League. Uh, some people just refer to it as the NBB or Japanese Baseball and uh, anybody who has been watching this channel for a while or watches most of my videos, even all of my videos, they know that I have played on this channel a few times, uh, Pro Yaku Spirits 2019, which is basically the Japanese version of MLB The Show, um, which is their baseball game for their baseball league. I'm just going to read over the uh, Wikipedia article a little bit to talk about the teams in each and every league and some of the history, and we'll just talk about this together. Uh, Nippon Professional Baseball, or NBB, is the highest level of baseball in Japan. Locally, it is often called Pro Yaku, meaning professional baseball. Again, Pro Yaku Spirits, similar to that. Outside Japan, it is also it is often just referred to as Japanese baseball. The roots of the league can be traced back to the formation of the Greater Japan Tokyo Baseball Club, or Dai Nippon Tokyo Yaku Garabu, in Tokyo, founded in 1934, and the original circuit for the sport in the Empire two years later, Japanese Baseball League which went from 1936 to 1949 and continued to play even through the final years of World War II. The league that is today's NPP for Japan was formed when the sports organization reorganized in 1950, creating two leagues with six teams each in the Central League and the Pacific League. With an annual season ending Japan Series Championship playoff series of games starting that year. So here is the logo for Nippon Professional Baseball. I actually think this is quite a cool logo. You have the NPP here, and you have this exclamation point with the iconography of a baseball bat and a ball there. Uh, now, the NPB is kind of known as the second best league uh, besides the MLB. So basically it goes like MLB, NPB, and then the minor league teams uh, underneath the MLB in North America. Uh, NPB, you will see a lot of players that either used to be good, but then kind of fell off a little bit and maybe aren't good enough for a professional team but not so bad that they belong in the minor leagues some of those guys will go to the NBB or guys who just didn't quite cut it in the big leagues they'll sometimes go play in Japan uh, it was founded in 1950 which is 72 years ago the CEO is Ryozo Gado there are 12 teams. The most recent champion is the Tokyo Yakult Swallows, my personal favorite team, and that was their sixth title. 
and the team with the most titles is the Yomiri Giants with 22 titles. The Yomiri Giants are sort of the New York Yankees of the uh, of the NBB. Uh, Nippon Professional Baseball consists of two leagues, the Central League and the Pacific League, which each have six teams, kind of similar to the American League and the National League in MLB. There are also two secondary level professional minor leagues, the Eastern League and the Western League, that play shorter schedules for developing players. The season starts in late March or early April and ends in October with two or three All-Star games in July. So it follows the same schedule as um, the MLB, which so that means it is not a winter league. Some of these leagues run in the winter as to not conflict or compete against the MLB, but NBB does not do that. Uh, scrolling down here a little bit to the origins. The first professional baseball team in Japan was founded by media mogul Matsutaro Shuriki in late 1934 and called the Dai Nippon Tokyo Yaku Garabo, or the Great Japan Tokyo Baseball Club. After matching up with a team of visiting American All-Stars that included Babe Ruth, Jimmy Fox, Lou Gehrig, and Charlie Geringer. The team sent the team spent the 1935 season barnstorming in the United States, winning 93 of 102 games against semi-pro and Pacific Coast League teams. According to historian Joseph Reeves, the only minor drawbacks to the team's popularity in the States were their kanji characters and their cumbersome Japanese name. They rectified both by renaming themselves the Tokyo Kyojin or Tokyo Giants and adopting a uniform identical to the New York Giants. So that original team uh, became the modern day uh, Yomiri Giants. So we are now going to take a look at every team that is in the uh, NBB in order. We're going to start with the Central League and we're going to look at the Junichi Dragons. I'm not going to go over the individual histories of the teams, just look at the uniforms and logos and such. Uh, and maybe some of this as well. Uh, there's the team logo, the dragons. Uh, very reminiscent of the Dodgers, I would say. Uh, they were founded in 1936, and their nickname is Ryu, which just means dragon. They have nine Central League championships and two Japan Series championships. Uh, they play in the Nagoya Dome. Their colors are blue and white. They have two retired numbers, number 10 and number 15 for Shukahiro Hattori and Michio Nishizawa. And here are their uniforms home and away, the white dragons for home, and the blue Junichi for away. Again, very reminiscent of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Next, we look at the Hanshin Tigers. This is the logo of the Hanshin Tigers, and they are sort of the Boston Red Sox to the Yomiri Giants. Uh, New York Yankees. They are the second most popular and second most successful team in Japan behind the Giants. I'm pretty sure that's correct. I'm, I might be a little wrong there. 
and there is their cap insignia. I actually think the Tigers have a really cool cap insignia, that H and the D, really cool look. They were founded in 1935. They have four Japanese baseball league titles from before it was Nippon professional baseball. They have five Central League championships and one Nippon Series championship. Um, their colors are yellow, black, and white, and they have three retired numbers. Number 10 for Fumio Fujimura, 11 for Minoru Murayama, and 23 for Yoshio Yoshida. And here are their uniforms, the home and the away. They have uh, the white and yellow home jersey with tigers across the chest. And the away is a white into a gradient to a gray with hanshin on the chest, also with yellow accenting. Then we have the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. Um, they just recently sent uh, a player to the MLB who signed with the Cubs, um, Seiya, Seiya Suzuki, I believe, yes, yeah, Seiya Suzuki. That was their logo there, the Garb, and that is their team insignia, very similar to the Cincinnati Reds. They were founded in 1950. They have nine Central League championships and three Japan Series championships. Their colors are red and white, and they have three retired numbers. Number three for Sachio Kinugaza, eight for Koji Yamamoto, and 15 for Hiroki Garoda, or Garada, uh, who apparently played for the Los Angeles Dodgers from 2008 to 2011. Very interesting. And here's their home and away. I think they have very clean looking uniforms, the white with the red and garb across the chest for home. And then the white pants with the red shirt and the Hiroshima across the chest for the away. I think those are very nice looking uniforms. Then again, my favorite team, the Tokyo Yakult Swallows. There's the team logo. You have the uh, the mascot wearing the, uh, the helmet with the YS, Tokyo Yakult Swallows. The mascot uh, named um, Subakuro. I believe his name is Subakuro. And there is the hat insignia. You have the Y and the S for Yakult Swallows. They were founded in 1950. They have eight Central League championships, the most recent in 2021, and six Japan Series championships, most recent in 2021. Um, they, I forgot to do the ballparks or some of the other ones, but they play in the Meiji Jingu Stadium. Their colors are blue, green, and red. They do not have any retired numbers. And here are their uniforms. The home, they have the white with the red pinstripes and the swallows in blue across the chest. And the away, they have the white pants with the blue shirt and the green accents with Yakult in green against across the chest. Next, we have the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars. This is their logo, the DNA Bay Stars Yokohama. Very interesting logo. There's their cap insignia, the B with the star. And there's even like a D. There's some hidden Ds inside there. They were founded in 1949. They have two Central League championships and two Japan Series championships. They play in Yokohama Stadium. Their colors are blue and white. And um, they do not have any retired numbers either. Their home, they have the white with the blue pinstripes and the bay stars across the chest. And the away, they have the white pants with the blue shirt with the white and light blue stripes coming down and Yokohama across the chest. And our final team in the 
Central League, we have the Yomiri Giants. Like I said, they are the New York Yankees of the NBB. Here's their logo, the big G in the center, Tokyo beneath, and 1934. And then their cap insignia, a Y and a G for Yomiri Giants. They have nine Japanese Baseball League titles from before the changeover. They have 38 Central League championships. 38. So, and they have 22 Japan Series championships. So I think that they're actually, technically, by amount of championships, more successful than the New York Yankees. I believe the Giants have more rings than the Yankees do. They have six retired numbers. Number one, retired for Sadaharu O. Number three, retired for Shigeo Nagashima. Number four, uh, Toshio Kurosawa. Number 14, for Eiji Sawamura. Number 16, for Tetsuharu Kawakami. And number 34, for Masaichi Kanida. And here's their uniforms, the home with the white with some orange accenting and the giants across the chest, and the away, all gray, orange accents with the Tokyo across the chest. Moving now to the Pacific League, we have the Chiba Latte Marines. Uh, here's their team logo, the Chiba Latte Marines. You have this little seabird with the, and a baseball there, circular logo. There's their cap insignia, that big M. They were founded in 1949. They have five Pacific League championships, four Japan Series championships. They play in the Zozo Marine Stadium. Uh, the Yomiri Giants play in the Tokyo Dome. Their colors are black and white, and they have one retired number, number 26, for the fans. Interesting. They're tired number 26 for the fans. Okay. Honor number 26. This number is tired in honor of the Marines fans in 2005. Okay. So, that's that. Uh, go back. Okay. Next team is the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. There's their team logo. SoftBank Hawks Fukuoka with the mascot there on a yellow and white flag. And there is the cap insignia, the S and the lowercase h. Rare to see a lowercase letter. They were founded in 1938. They have two Japanese Baseball League titles, 19 Pacific League championships, and 11 Japan Series championships. Uh, their colors are yellow and black, and they do not have any retired numbers. Here's their uniforms. The home is the white with yellow accents and the soft bank hawks across the chest. And the away of the white pants with the black shirt and the soft bank across the chest. Next up we have the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters who they got a little bit of attention when uh, their manager legally changed his name to Big Boss, as you can see right here, manager, Big Boss, uh, Suyoshi Shinjo, but he legally changed his name to Big Boss. It was a bit of a news story. Uh, the Nippon Ham Fighters, here's their logo, the F and a star in this diamond shape. And there's their cap insignia, it's the letter F. They were founded in 1945. They have seven Pacific League championships and three Japan Series championships. They play in the Sapporo Dome. Their colors are blue and white, and uh, they have one retired number, which is the number 100. Um, Yoshi Nori Osoko, who uh, I guess he owned the team, but he passed away, so honoring him. Here's their uniform, the home. You have this white with the blue and gold accents and this little sort of stripe looking thing on the shoulder here. 
says fighters across the chest and the away. White pants with this gold shirt with black sleeves and shoulders. And it says Nippon Ham across the chest. Uh, teams. Okay. Then we have the Oryx Buffalo. Um, here's their logo. It says Buffaloes. And then it says Oryx Buffaloes below it. Um, and then there's their cap insignia, this very nice looking bee. They were founded in 1936. They have 13 Pacific League Championships and four Japan Series Championships. They play in the Kyocera Dome Osaka. Their colors are navy, gold, and white. They do not have any retired numbers. Their uniforms, the home is white with some gold accents and buffaloes across the chest. And the away, white bands with a navy blue shirt and oryx across the chest. The Saitama Seibu Lions, here's their team logo. I think this is quite an interesting logo. Uh, the, this lion paw wrapped around the baseball. And then there's their cap insignia. They were founded in 1950. They have 23 Pacific League championships and they have 13 Japan Series championships. They play in the Baluna Dome. Their colors are blue, white, and red, and they have one retired number, 24 for Kazuhisha Inoa. Home and away, here's their uniforms. The home, white with some blue accents and lions across the chest. And the away, a very nice looking uh, jersey in my opinion. This dark blue with some red accents and Saitama across the chest. Finally, we have the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles. Uh, there's their team logo. Very interesting logo in my opinion because you have the two eagles there. And there's their cap insignia. Very cool stylized letter E. They were founded in 2005, so they're the most recent team on this list. They have one Pacific League Championship and one Japan Series Championship. Their colors are crimson, yellow, and white. They have two retired numbers, number 10 for the fans, and number 77 for Senichi Hoshino. Uh, I think it's interesting that they are such a new team, but they have more retired numbers than some of the more established teams. Their uniforms, the home, they have white with red accents and the Rakuten Eagles across the chest. And away, they have white pants, red shirt with the Rakuten across the chest. So that is the Nippon Professional Baseball League. Let's look at the current standings. Um, for 2022 in the Central League, uh, leading the Central League and uh, the entire NBB by a wide margin. My favorite team, the Tokyo Yakult Swallows, um, hopefully looking to go back to back as league champions and then hopefully finally win the Japan Series this year. Um, Below them, we have the Yomiri Giants in second place, seven games behind. The Hiroshima Garp in third place for the Central League. The Ancient Tigers in fourth place in the Central League, which is actually pretty impressive because the Ancient Tigers had a terrible start to the season. They were like one and nine to start the season. DNA Bay Stars in fifth place, and the Judici Dragons in last place in the Central League. And then in the Pacific League, the Rakuten Golden Eagles have been killing it this year. They've been easily the second best team in the NBB behind the Yakult Swallows and will likely be facing off against the Swallows in the Japan Series. The SoftBank Hawks are in second place, the Pacific League, the Seibu Lions in third place, the Orcs Buffalo in fourth place, Chipolate Marines in fifth place, and the Nippon Ham Fighters are the worst team NBB by far, by far. Now, um, does this technically count as North America? I don't know, but I want to talk about the LMB, or the Mexican League, the Liga Mexicana de Baseball, or Mexican League of Baseball. 
It is a professional baseball league based in Mexico and is the oldest running professional league in Mexico. The league has 18 teams organized in two divisions, north and south. Teams play 114 games each season. Five teams in each division advance to a four-round postseason tournament that culminates in the Serie del Rey, a best-of-seven championship series between the two division champions. The Mexican League has two affiliated minor leagues, the Liga Norte de Mexico and Mexican Academy League. Though founded in 1925, the league joined the National Association of Professional Baseball Leagues in 1955 when it was designated a double-A league. Some member teams entered player development contracts with teams in the National League at that time. AAA classification was granted in 1967. As part of the 2021 reorganization of the minors, the Mexican League was not included as a AAA league, though it continues to operate independently. Here's the league for the LMB Baseball, Liga Mexicana de Baseball, LMB. Got a field of stars there inside the baseball. Um, founded on June 28th, 1925, there are 18 teams. Um, most recent champions are the Toros de Tijuana. The most titles belong to the Diablos Rojos del Mexico. They have 16. Um, let's go into some of the history here. Some sources claim that baseball reached Mexican soil because of the U.S. military forces that participated in the U.S.-Mexican War between 1846 and 1848. The last decades of the 19th century have been beneficial to the baseball boom, while American companies were investing in various sectors of the Mexican economy and their employees were broadcasting the game. The origin of baseball in Mexico City, the capital, dates back to 1887 with the birth of the Mexican Club, which is undoubtedly the oldest team of the Republic. Since the start of the 20th century, baseball has become one of the favorite sports of all of Mexico. So there's a lot more teams in this league, so I'm not going to be able to go into as much detail on them. I'm just going to kind of click into them, give a quick highlight, and move on. Uh, we have the Acaceros de Monclava. They have one league championship, three division championships. Their colors are blue, red, and white. Uh, we have the Agadoneros de Union Laguna. Oh, and the uh, Acaceros were founded in 1974. The Algodoneros were founded in 1940. They have two league championships, three division championships. Their colors are maroon, white, and gold. We have the Generales de Durango. They were founded in 2016. Very recent team. I like the colors. Reminds me of the Oakland Athletics and their colors are green, yellow, and white. The Mariachis de Guadalajara were founded in 2020, so that's a very recent team. Their colors are black and white. Um, the Rialeros de Aguas, Aguascalientes, uh, they were founded in 1975. They have one league championship and two division championships. Their colors are navy blue, white, and yellow. The Saraberos de Saltillo. They remind me very heavily of the Seattle Mariners, my favorite MLB team. They were founded in 1970. They have three league championships. Their colors are teal, black, gray, and white colors of the Seattle Mariners. Um, the Sultans de Monterey. They were founded in 1939. They have 10 league championships. Their colors are navy blue, white, and occasionally red. The Tecolates de los dos Laredos. They were founded in 1940. They have one, two, three, four, five league championships. Their colors are navy blue, white, green, and red. And finally, 
for the North Division, we have the Toros de Tijuana. They were founded in 2014, which was their second attempt at joining. They have two league championships and four division championships. Their colors are black, red, and white. That one's from 2014, or from 2004, rather. Hold on. I'm going to read the history on this one because it seems very interesting. Original attempt. The franchise was originally the Decalates de los Dos Laredos, who we just looked at, before moving to Tijuana to become the Toros de Tijuana in 2004. In their debut season, they qualified for the postseason where they faced and defeated the Sultanes de Monterrey. In the second round of the playoffs, they're defeated by the Pericos de Puebla in five games. The Mexican League reportedly stripped the Toros owner of the franchise and gave it to new owners, who renamed that team to Patros de Tijuana after the original Tijuana team that played in Mexican Pacific League from 1977 to 1991. The Toros ownership kept the team name Loco Uniforms in history as a result of the alleged political wrangling that went on in that league. The original ownership group in Mexico was slated to bring the team to the Independent Golden Baseball League in 2005, but could not come to a stadium deal in Tijuana. A ballpark was set to be ready in Chula Vista, California, near San Diego, should the team have decided to come to the league. Had they joined the league, they would have only been the league's first team based outside of the United States. The honor instead went to the traveling Japan Samurai Bears. They would have also been the only privately owned team at the time. Interesting. Okay. Now we move to the South League. We have the Bravos de Leon. They were founded in 1978. They have one league championship and one division championship. Their colors are navy blue, red, and white. We have the Diablos Rojos del Mexico. They were founded in 1940. And they have 16 league championships and 22 division championships. So they are the most successful team in Mexico by far. Their colors are red and white. They have won back-to-back -back championships three separate times. It's pretty impressive. El Aquila de Veracruz. They're founded in 1903. So it's the oldest team so far. They have six league championships, and their colors are red and white. Uh, the Guerreros de Oaxaca. They're founded in 1996. They have one league championship, and their colors are black and white. The Leones de Yacutan. They're founded in 1954. I love, I love that logo. That's an amazing logo. They have four league championships, nine division championships. Their colors are green, orange, and white. The Omecas de Tabasco. They uh, were founded in 1975. They have one league championship, and their colors are green, black, red, and white. That's a really cool picture. That is a really cool picture. The Barricos de Puebla. They were founded in 1942. They have five league championships, and their colors are green, white, and yellow. The Baratas de Campeche, they're found in 1980. They have two league championships, and their colors are red, white, and black. And finally, we have the Tigre, the Tigres de Quintana Roo, which were founded in 1955. They have 12 league championships and 18 division championships. Their colors are navy blue, orange, and white. So that is the Mexican League, the Liga Mexicano de Baseball. And here are the current standings for the teams in the Northern Conference. In first place, we have Dos Laredos. Second place, we have Toron de Tijuana, or excuse me, Toros de Tijuana. Third place, we have Monterrey. Fourth place, Monclava. 5th place, Aquas Calientes. 6th place, Laguna. 7th place is Durango. 8th place is Guadalajara. And in final place, we have Saltillo. 
course, the team that uh, wears the Mariners colors are in last place. In the Southern Conference, first place we have Tabasco. In second place we have Mexico, which I believe that's the Devils. Yeah, it's the Devils. Third place we have Puebla. Fourth place, Quintana Roo. Fifth place, Veracruz. Sixth place, Yucatan. Seventh place, Campeche. Eighth place, Leon. And in ninth place, looks like they're the worst team in the league, is Oaxaca. As the current standings for the Mexican Baseball League. Next up, we have the KBO. The KBO League, officially known as the Shinhan Bank SOL KBO League due to sponsorship reasons, is the highest level league of baseball in South Korea. The KBO League was founded with six franchises in 1982 and is the most popular sports league in South Korea. The Kia Tigers are the most successful team, having won 11 out of the 40 championships. In comparison with American Major League Baseball, ESPN reports that the KBO level, appear, level of play appears to be somewhere between AA and AAA, all on average. Although the fan, the be oh, though the best players are more likely to be MLB quality than your typical Double A league. Historically, the KBO is known for its vocal and exuberant fan base, as well as the widespread practice of bat flips by hitters after stroking what they think will be a home run. In the KBO, the bat flipping tradition dates back to the 1990s. That's one thing I I love about watching the Korean baseball league. They love bat flipping, and I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that they give out awards at the end of the season for the best bat flip of the season. Uh, here's their their logo, the KBO League, and you have this series of colors there, not a very interesting league. Founded in 1982, there are 10 teams. The most recent champions were the KT Wiz, who got their first title, and the most titles is the Kia Tigers. Uh, let's look at the history. The first game was played on March 27th, 1982 between the Samsung Lions and the NBC Chongyang at the Dongdaemun Baseball Stadium in Seoul. Okay, and let's just look at the teams. Only 10 teams. Uh, looks like most of them are based out of Seoul. We have the Dusan Bears. Again, the video is getting long, so I'm not going to go too much into the details here, especially because I don't know as much about these leagues that do the NBB. I mean, I actively follow the Japanese Baseball League. Um, the Tucson Bears were established in 1982. They have four league championships and six Korean Series championships. Their colors are navy, blue, red, and white and they've retired 21 for Park Chol Soon, and they they also required uh, retired number 54 for Kim Young Shin. The Hanwha Eagles, they were established in 1985. They have two league championships and one Korean Series championship. Their colors are orange, black, and gray, and they have three retired numbers, 21 for Song Jin Woo, 23 for Chung Min Chol, and 35 for Chang Jong Hoon. The Kia Tigers. Kia Tigers. Um, they were established in 1982. They have six league championships and 11 Korean Series championships. Their colors are red, white, and black. They have retired number seven for Lee Jong Byom and 18 for Sun Dung Yo. Uh, also, it's part of the Hyundai Motorsports Group, who, has, who owns teams in multiple sports. Men's football, women's football, men's volleyball, women's volleyball, basketball. Interesting. Then we have the Kiwoom Heroes. The Kiwoom Heroes, they were established in 2008. Their colors are burgundy and gray. The KT Wiz, who just won their first championship, they were established in 2013. They have one league championship, one Korean 
Series Championship. Their colors are black, red, and white. And they're part of KD Sports, also have a team in basketball, in esports, and in shooting, as well as field hockey. Interesting. The LG Twins. As you know, a lot of these teams are sponsored by tech companies. They were established in 1982. They have two league championships and two Korean Series championships. Their colors are black, maroon, and gray. And they have number nine, retired for Lee byung Kyu, And number 41, retired for Kim young Su. The Latte Giants. Uh, they were established in 1975. They have two Korean Series championships, one in 1984 and one in 1992. And their colors are blue and red. And they have one retired number, which is number 11 for Choi Dong Won. The NC Dinos. They were established in 2011. They have one league championship and one Korean Series championship. Their colors are blue and gold. Samsung Lions. They were established in 1982. They have nine league championships and eight Korean series championships. Their colors are blue, white, and gray. And they have number 10, retired for Young Jun Hyuk. Number 22, retired for Lee Man Su. And number 36, required for Lee Seung Yup. And finally, the SSG Landers that have an amazing logo. Look at that logo. I love that logo. They were founded in the year 2000. They have three league championships and four Korean series championships. Their colors are charismatic red, white, and yellow. And they have number 26 retired for Park Kyung On. And we have the standings for the KBO League. It's all in one league. Uh, obviously, there's not a, a division. And the league leaders right now is SSG, the Landers. Uh, not much. Can't even see the game. So SSG leading the league, followed by Kiwu, LG, Kia, Samsung, Doosan, KD. Latte, NC, and Anwa. So, okay, sorry about that weird gut. Uh, a couple of raccoons were fighting outside my window, so I had to go break it up and then come back in here. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I've been getting into baseball, and... Uh, I just find these things very interesting, so I hope that you do as well. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this every single day. And until next time, guys.